Hi guys, I'm Bobsy, and this video is a bit of a different one because I've actually gone and made my own networking system. So just to start it off, Pernet is a 100% free solution that me and my fellow developer Ridden has been working on for quite a while. There's literally not even a paid or pro version and you can freely release without any credit needed at all. We decided to make Pernet because we really wanted a solution that integrates as seamlessly as possible with Unity. I'm personally not a big fan of external tools attempting to create their own workflows or assert limitations as to how I use Unity. So this is really our attempt at creating something that works with Unity and the C-sharp language rather than having you fight against against it or add limitations. Also, I'm a professional multiplayer developer, and this is personally the solution that I'll be using going forward, at least on my own projects. Keep in mind that at the point of uploading this video, it is still under development. However, we feel confident that it is solid enough to create production ready games. Even if you do find issues, please just report them to us. And of course, we'll get those ironed out. All this being said, there's still many more features that we'd like to add, and you can follow along on the roadmap page of our documentation. If there's any features that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments as well. And there's a very high likelihood that I'll add them to the roadmap. Now, the big question here really is, why should you use Pernet? First of all, I just want to disclaim, I really don't have a need to sell you this. As I mentioned, we don't actually sell this whatsoever and we don't make any money on that. So it's really meant there's something cool to share with the community. That being said, usage wise, it's similar to what you know from the likes of Mira and Fishnet, but in my opinion, with improvements that makes it nicer to work with as a developer. Just looking at this unique to Pernet section of our documentation, you'll see a bunch of features that are nice for new developers as well as skilled developers and tool makers. Some I might even say I find necessary for proper modularity in your development. Some of the big ones that I find to be are the network rules, for example, that completely allows you to customize how the networking works and how you as a developer work with it. There's also the fact that we don't actually deal with direct network objects. So there's no limitation to anything like nesting network objects and nesting prefabs. We don't add any limitations there whatsoever. Another really cool feature is the network modules, which also some of our functionality is actually built on. It essentially allows you to work with the network without even needing to be a mono behavior type script. So this means you can come create extremely modular setups that can still just fine act on the network. We also have the persistent player data that allows you to disconnect and reconnect and the connection will automatically remain as the same, meaning that you can recognize it, you can have the player game object stay and you can easily have players just reconnect to the same player again without having to destroy the object and create a new one and initialize the same data and so on. All of this can very easily be handled for you. We're also not really big fans of what a lot of systems do in terms of baking, so we avoid baking scene IDs and baking components. This is really just to avoid a lot of issues and pitfalls that we've hit before. Our player ID setup, which is essentially what we use as a network connection, is our player ID setup. Also allows for what we essentially see as fake connections, which is bots, meaning that you can a lot easier with the setup have bots act completely as you would with a player, meaning you don't actually have to disconnect your bot logic from your player logic. This will also help you emulate how observers RPCs and target RPCs runs, meaning that they will run the exact same logic as clients will. Another really cool thing that we have are the more advanced types of RPCs. We have generic RPCs allowing you to send completely unknown data types across the network, similar to how you would naturally work with c -sharp. We just now allow you to do that with RPCs as well. We also allow you to work with static RPCs, meaning you can simply just have a static method, just make it an RPC and that'll work just fine as well. And other than that, we also have returnable RPCs that'll actually return values, meaning that you can return an integer, you can return a pool, you can return whatever custom serializable value that you want to return. So just some of these features are to me some of what makes Pernet really nice to use and really allows you to create very modular setups, very scalable setups, and also hopefully shouldn't allow for many pitfalls for you to go in. And yet with the network rules, it also just yields a massive amount of freedom because with the network rules, you can actually allow the clients to acts on the network as well, meaning that they can have full ownership of sync virus, they can handle spawning and despawning for you, they can even call up servers and target RPCs directly, and they can do many, many, many more things across the network that you can just simply set up in settings. Now, some of the upcoming videos that I'll be making on this, the very basic ones at least are of course going to be the basic setup of how do you just set it up in the scene and get started working with it. Other than that, I'll also be going into spawning and despawning. I'll go into the basics of RPCs, you know, the normal RPCs that you're familiar with. I'll go into sync virus and general synchronizing. And also I'll go a bit more in depth with the network rule system as it is so fundamental to how you use Pernet. Now this is really to get you started. So even if you're a complete beginner, this will be able to get you started working as a multiplayer developer. Some of the future videos after this will be some of the more 
more specific stuff from Pernet. Some of the big ones being, for example, our network reflection component, which allows you to fully automatically synchronize values without even needing to edit any code. And I'll also be going over, of course, how you use these advanced RPCs. And then after this, it'll really be videos per request. So if you request anything, there's a very high likelihood I'll make a video on it. I'll also be making dedicated courses on my YouTube that'll be 100% free as well, just available on YouTube on how you make things like a multiplayer FPS, how you make a survival game or an RPG game or whatever you'd really like to see. So I'd love to see in the comments what, what you would be interested in. And lastly, just remember to join the Discord. It'll be in the description and in the pinned comment. And also, as I of course have to say, please remember to like, comment and subscribe to help support the channel. And other than that, I just hope that you have a wonderful day.